أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين بسم الله السلام عليكم أيها brothers and sisters in Islam today we will إن شاء الله تعالى expose with you some form of magic black magic that it's been found by my colleague from beatthesahar.com from Cambridge brother Omey from beatthesahar.com came to visit us and he showed us something quite disturbing what he found out with one Muslim. So, if you have a look on the table right now, inshallah ta'ala, you will see that um, out of this package, we have found out two kind of taweeth here. And this taweeth, they contain these papers. We explain to you what these papers exactly. And as well, part of this taweeth, or part of this work, the brother have found out these two dolls. Okay, the history behind this, it's that we went to somebody's house, uh, suffering from sihr, and uh, then we found out she's affected, but out of her own um, anger, she wanted to have a revenge from the family relative who done the sihr on her. So, you know, she went to see a magician, and that's what she's done. Now, watch well, we're going to explain to you technically the point. Here, the first doll that it's made from normal fabric, that's the first doll, and that's the second doll, A'udhu Billahi Mishtar Rajim. Yeah, okay. You will notice that this first doll here, it's got marks in the back of it, or the face of it. Marks. There's a mark here, a mark here, and there's like stitches in the mouth. Okay, we'll just show you, inshallah. Mark here, mark here. They made like a mouth in the head, stitching. Red mark here, red mark here. Red mark here, red mark here. Now the second doll has got no marks. And you will find out that uh, this, they've been found out with a photo of the person they wanted to do sihr on attached to it with needles. Why there is mark in these doors and there is no mark in these doors? Because here the marks to show to the jinn where he should attack to cause pain to the body of the person. So here what they're trying to say about the act of the sihr, Make them have bad eyes, and you can see if you get close here, they have put some kind of, some fabric, or some kind of, like a jelly, I don't know what is it, it could be dry blood. In the place of the eyes, I'm going to have to throw this pen later, and they made like the mouth should be such, means give them any problem with the eye, or give them any problem with the speech, or with words, they will be not able to mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give them pain in the hands, and the rest, something to do with skin problem, or with a joint problem, or with a muscle problem, and give them pain in the legs. Make them not walk, make them cropple, make them, uh, subhanallah, not be able to go to the mosque, anything. So here, it's the door to create a physical problem upon this person to do the sahar on him. He had a photo attached to it and needles in these places. Now the second door is to do with the spiritual side of hurt in this person. It is in black and white, as you can see, and the photo was attached to it means give them anxiety, depression, sadness, lack of rizq, not content in the heart, not be able to sit in the house, not be able to socialize with the family, not be able to talk to the wife, everything, every kind of sahar, a'udhu billah. Now the disturbing thing in here, that the fact is the person who don't this act was a patient itself. Come to see the Raqi. The Raqi found out that she is affected by black magic. When the Raqi asked her, when we asked her, do you have any ta'wee? She goes, in fact, yes, I've got some stuff buried in my garden. Why? Because I want to have a revenge from them. It shows you the state of the Ummah in our days. So, one, be a patient, affected from sihr. Next minute, go have a revenge. A'udhu Billah. Now, what they gave her as well, kind of protection from herself, if you come close, inshallah ta'ala, ask the cameraman, which this was in this ta'weef. No, they gave her the act of magic to harm these people. And they gave her, don't worry, put this paper around your neck and they ca cannot harm you back. It becomes not Star Wars, it becomes ta'weef's world. Yeah, it's not anymore Star Wars between the Muslims. It becomes what? Well, I will be like ta'weef. War. Here it is, they call it the Naqsh from Sheikh Nazim. May Allah give him 
Taqwa amin. Here they say Allah is haq, means Allah is haq, which we don't have a problem with this. Come close, brother, please. But here, there will be calling upon other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They will be saying, Ya Hussein, Ya Hassan radiallahu anhuma, Ya Umar, Ya Uthman, Ya Abu Bakr. And here they will be calling upon some uh, imams from the past. Why they are doing it in a circle? They are doing a circle so you cannot read it properly. This in itself, it is shirk calling upon rather than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They gave her two of them. I hope it's very clear that this tamah and this ta'weeth are not from Islam. It's nothing to do with the deen. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never wore a ta'weeth in his life. The only narration is from Umar ibn al-As, radiyallahu anhu, who said we used to put Ayat al-Kursi in the neck of our children before the age of puberty. Why? Because they could recite the Qur'an. But in our days, you are over the age of puberty, you can recite the Qur'an, and Surah Al-Falaq and Surah Al-Nas, it's been revealed anyway. So the Qur'an is complete and that's your protection. Okay? But most of the time, when we see patients, we say, do you have a ta'wiz in your neck? What they will say? Yes. What does it contain, my brother? They will say, my maulana or my peer said it's Qur'an for protection. We found out it is full of shirk. Again, we give you another description. Dolls to do sihr wa la'udhu billah. Marks where they want to hire the people. This is for spiritual effect on these people. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forbid this munkar in our ummah and to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to fear Allah and to think of the day of judgment. Any question, please subscribe. Please contact us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.